Hello friend, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in AutoCAD 2018 metric. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 032 underscore DIABM where you save it. You can also download this file on the website or use your own file. If you don't have access to any file, just sit down and watch the video. Go to the Home tab, Layer Panel and click the down arrow. Select the R2 layer and go to the Home tab, Layer Panel and select the Freeze command. Freeze the R1 layer. Now zoom in into this area. Go to the Home tab, Draw Panel, select the Construction Line command. I specify first point point. Zoom in into this area and click in this area. Now move your mouse cursor and click to this corner. Press Escape to get out of the command. Press enter to start the construction line command again. Start a line from this point and this point. Press escape. Press enter. Start a line from this point and click on this corner. Move the mouse cursor and click on this corner. Press escape. Now go to the home tab, drop and then select the line command. I specify first point from to zoom in into the intersection of this construction line and click. Move the mouse cursor. Make sure that your polar track button on the status bar is on. Move up until you see the 90 degree angle. Click. Press escape. Press enter. Start the line at this intersection. Move the mouse cursor until you see the zero degree. The distance isn't matter at this moment. Click. Press escape. Go to the home tab. Modify panel and select the fillet command. And select first object from select this line. At the select second object from select this line. AutoCAD fillet the two line at a point because the radius is zero distance. Now select this two line, go to the home tab, modify panel and select the mirror command. At specified first point of mirror line point, move and use the endpoint object snap, snap to the endpoint of this two line. Now move the mouse cursor into this direction. You can use the perpendicular object snap and snap into this area. Press enter to accept the default. Now try to link up these two points. Go to the home tab, drop panel and select the 2D polyline command. At specify first point prompt, move the mouse cursor and snap to the end point of this line. At specify next point undo, move and snap to the end point of this line. Move the mouse cursor, snap to this line. to this line, to this line, this line. Now move and snap to the out edge of this wall and this wall. Move back and snap to this line, end point, this end point and type C on your keyboard and press enter to close the figure. Now zoom out, select this line, this line, hit delete on your keyboard. Go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the offset command. For the offset, this is type terminal and 50 on your keyboard and press enter. Select this polyline and offset it out. Press escape. Go to the home tab, modify panel, go to the quick access toolbar and click the save as button. You can also press Ctrl Shift S key on your keyboard and rename this file to 00 underscore 024 underscore DIABM. If you plan to open this file of this file into earlier version of AutoCAD, change the file of site to that version. Click OK to save the drawing. Because I have a drawing with the same name already existing in my drawing in the same folder, AutoCAD complete. So I'm go ahead and click yes to replace that drawing to the new one. Now go to the home tab, draw panel and select the line command. I specify first point prompt. Use the midpoint object snap and snap from this midpoint and to this midpoint press enter to end line command press enter to start line command again snap from this point and to the either the perpendicular or the midpoint of this line press enter to end line command press enter to start the line command again Stand, snap from this point and move into this direction click to place the line the distance isn't important press enter press enter to repeat the line command start the line from this point to this point, press enter. Press enter to start the line command. Press enter to start the line command. Snap a line from this point to this point. Press escape. 
Now let's use the fillet command to link up our lines. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the fillet command. Type M on your keyboard and press enter. Select this line and this line. Select this line and this line, this line and this line. Press escape to get out of the command. Go to the home tab, modify panel, click the down arrow and select extend command. Press enter. Extend this line, this line, this line, this line. Press escape to get out of the command. Now go to the home tab, modify panel and select the offset command. I specify offset distance prompt. Type 750 mm, press enter. Select this line and offset it out. Press escape. Go to the home tab, draw panel and select the line command. Go to the quick access toolbar and select the match property. As the select source object prompt, select this poly line. At the select destination object prompt, select this line. Press escape. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the extend command. Press enter. Extend this line. Press escape. Now, go to the home tab, modify panel, click the down arrow and select the trim command. At the select object prompt, select this line and this line. Press enter and trim off these lines. Press escape. Go to the home tab layer panel, click the down arrow and select the cabbage layer. Go to the home tab, draw panel and select the polyline command. I specify first point prompt, move the mouse cursor and snap into the, this end point, move and snap to this end point, to this end point, and move the mouse cursor and snap to this end point. Press escape. Because this roof is below this other roof, and you have a hole here, this roof can only stop at this point. But it's very difficult for us to model parts of this roof without getting all the reference into this roof. So now let's get rid of the unwanted roof. Go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the trim command. At the select, at the select object prompt, select this polyline, press enter. Now delete all the objects on the roof layer that cross this red line. Press escape. Select this line and this line. You delete on your keyboard. Select this polyline. Hover the mouse cursor into this vertex and select the remove command. Hover the mouse cursor into this vertex and select add vertex. Move back to the same grip and click. Now click on this grip and move it to the end point of this line. Click on this grip and move this grip to the end point of this line. Press escape. Use a cursing window selection and cross the window into this line. Now hold down your shift key and cross the window here to deselect the longer polyline and hit delete on your keyboard. Go to the home tab, draw panel and select the line command. Start a line at the, the end point of this line and move the mouse cursor into 45 degree increment. Click to place this line. Press escape. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the extend command. At the select object or select all from select this line, press enter. Select this line to extend it. Press escape. Go to the home tab layer panel and select the make current button. Click to make this the current layer. Now select this object and go to the home tab layer panel and click the match layer command. Click at the select object on destination layer. Click on this object. Press escape to get out of the command. Select this line. Click on this grip and move it to the end point of this line. Click on this grip and move it into this corner. Press escape. Now select this line and hit delete on your keyboard. Go to the home tab, draw panel and select the polyline command. I specify first point prompt. Start the line at the end point of this polyline. Continue to draw the polyline from this point to this point. Press escape. Type join on your keyboard and press enter. Select this polyline and this polyline, press enter. AutoCAD convert this polyline into one object. Now select this polyline and hit delete on your keyboard. Now if we go to the home tab and click this down arrow, turn all the freeze layer, the R1 layer button. Now you see the relationship of the two roof. So because this roof, the roof in the R1 
is above the roof in the R2 layer. So you cannot see the R2 above the R1. To correct this problem, go to the Home tab, modify panel, click the down arrow and select the trim command. Select this polyline and press enter. Delete all the R, R2 object that cross this R1 object. Press escape to get out of the command. Now select this line, it deletes on your keyboard. Use a window selection and select this line, it deletes on your keyboard. Alright, so we have drawn two portions of our roof. We we'll continue to link them up as the drawing proceeds. If you find this tutorial useful, please click the like button and share it to your friend. If you have any question or you want a specific tutorial, please leave a comment below. If you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel, please subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next class. Goodbye.